Hey y'all, welcome back to Chat with Coach Amy. Today I have very special ladies, three of about, I don't know, would you say 18 to 20 um, ladies that um, completed the 100 Strong Challenge and told me about it. <laughs> they are here today um, to talk to us about the 100 Strong Challenge and how that affected their journey, what their experience was, and that kind of thing. So I'm very excited to have Carrie, Diana, and Erin today. And I'm just going to be asking them some questions round robin. And we're just going to have a little conversation about what 100 Strong meant to them. Um, and I just want to say that if y'all look on your socials, this is this is going to come out on Monday <laughs> the 9th. On the 10th is my six-year anniversary, And I'm going to have a live session where I'm going to chat about my six-year Trim Healthy Mama journey, how I've kept it sustainable, and how I, avoid, how I avoided burning out on Trim Healthy Mama, because that is something that I hear a lot. I just couldn't do it anymore. And I'm like, why not? <laughs> like, it kind of blows my mind. So I'm going to talk about that in a live session where you can only get the live link if you fill out a form. So go look on my website for that so that you don't miss out. And um, I'm also going to be offering a surprise um, that day as well. So please be on the lookout for that. Okay. All right. So without further ado, can you guys please introduce yourselves and we'll go and let's see, we'll do Diana and then Erin and then Carrie. Just, just tell us a little bit about yourself, not anything long and involved and just share whatever it is that you would like to share. Uh, so my name's Diana. I am 53 years young. <laughs> and I have three kids. We're empty nesters. Uh, my oldest is 23. My middle guy is 22 and my youngest is 18. So um, we just moved to a little town outside of Georgia, uh, outside of Atlanta um, earlier this year. Um, it's about an hour um, called Social Circle. And um, we're originally from Philadelphia. So whenever, when anybody ever asks, where are you from? I say Philadelphia, because that's where yeah. I'm where I'm truly from. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, I've been doing THM since um, early 2018. This will be my five-year anniversary. Um, you know, I've had some ups and downs along the way. Um, but yeah, it's just my my husband and I, I, I work full-time. I work from home. This is my office. The best. And, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. So I go into the office once a month. So wow. it's, uh, it's, yeah, I like my lifestyle. It's good. That's awesome. <laughs> Three, you said three boys? No, my oldest no. is a girl, girl, um, 23 and then the two boys. Gotcha. So, okay. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Very yeah. Good. Did you have, did you do buds with me at some point? I did. Yes? I did. Cause I, I had to. <laughs> oh, to get into balloons. I'm an idiot. <laughs> my own rule. <laughs> it wasn't a choice. So yes, I did. <laughs> was that winter? Seems like it was winter. Uh, or spring. Uh, oh gosh. When was it? When was it winter, Aaron? Or yeah, spring. It was, it was winter. Winter, winter 2022. And we joined May. Blooms in May. Okay. Yeah. Love All it. right. Yeah. Good. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Erin. I'm Erin and I am turning 41 in February. I have five kiddos. I'm a stay at home mom. I currently live in South Texas in Victoria and I am from Georgia originally. Really? <laughs> Truly Southern at heart, <laughs> <laughs> just outside of Atlanta in the uh, Stone Mountain area. Um, and I've been doing Trim Healthy Mama for a while. I started probably, I was introduced to it back in 2014. I did it for a little bit with one of my pregnancies. Um, and then I fell off for a while. And then I did it again with my fifth pregnancy, which my son was born in micro preemie, extremely early. He was born 23 weeks in one day. And I think that Trim Healthy Mama helped save his life because he hmm. was um, just one pound, um, three ounces when he was born. And he would not have been that much, I don't think, if I hadn't been do doing Trim Healthy Mama. And um, so after he was born, about a year later, about 2018, 2019, I picked Trim Healthy Mama back up and had done it off and on, falling on and off the wagon. Um, and then just since joining Coach Amy in May of 2022 20, for Buds, I really jumped back on the wagon hard and did the 100 strong and have been doing good ever since. Oh, so good. I love it. I love it. I do want to have you and some other ladies with children with special needs um, 
I want to have y'all on the podcast as a group and talk about how you manage THM with children like that. And I, I it's, there's a, a wide range of ladies that I have in mind, but don't let me forget to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Erin. How many boys and how many girls? So I actually have four boys and one girl. My girlfriend. Girl <laughs> oh, that makes me want to break out in halves. <laughs> almost of you <laughs> oh my gosh I love it that's so sweet though my love my boys they're just something mm. <laughs> all right Carrie tell us about you girl um I am from Michigan actually I grew up in Ohio we live like right on the Michigan Ohio border um and I've been married for 22 years I'm 44 um and I have four kids my oldest daughter is 21 and she's in nursing school. Um, my oldest son is 18 and he's in Pensacola, Florida, actually, um, oh. going to school for engineering. And then I have a 13 and a 14 year old boy. So I have three boys. Three boys so, and one um, girl. Like y'all like, woo, woo. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, what, we're busy. What college in Pensacola? Um, Pensacola Christian College. That's what I thought, okay. Yeah. I, have friends, I have some friends that go there. Yeah. yeah, he loves it. But um, I've been doing Trim Healthy Mama. Like I was introduced to it, I think in 2014, okay. 2015. Um, but it just, I didn't get it the first time. And so I kind of was on and off. Um, but in 2020, something clicked. I read the big fat old book that I had. Mm-hmm. And um, <clears throat> it just clicked. And so I started doing it. And then I just started really struggling. Um, staying on plan. I knew I needed help. So I eventually, I discovered a you. I don't remember if that was 2020 or 21, maybe even later. (laughs) I don't remember. (laughs) It's okay. It's okay. (laughs) But, um, I went through your fall buds and then joined blooms and now I'm doing one-on-one with you Mm -hmm. and I love it. (laughs) So yeah, I've been doing it for a while. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. So, um, we're just going to go kind of round robin. Y'all know how I do these. Um, why did you commit to the 100 strong challenge? Diana, you go first. So for me, it was just, um, I wanted to finally have a holiday season where Mm. I, I didn't slip up once. Like I, I don't really have a lot of weight to lose. I didn't, you know, really, I I have other challenges and issues, (laughs) Um, but it, for me, it was, I just really wanted to focus on trying to stay healthy, to stay on plan, get through a holiday season. Um, Because if I don't, I tend to obsess about food and I didn't want to really do that. So I'm I'm very much a planner and, and everything. So I just wanted to make sure that I, set myself up for success over the holiday season. And, you know, it's the lifestyle has always been kind of, this is what I do. This is how I eat, but I'd always like kind of cheat here or there. And I just wanted to go through a stretch of time where I didn't do that. Yeah. And so that's, and so, and and I achieved that goal. So, and I keep going. Yes, (laughs) that's right. Awesome. Oh, I love that. Mm -hmm. I love that. Erin? So I want to back up and say one thing about me before I start. Absolutely. I forgot to mention my husband. We've been married for 18 years. (laughs) (laughs) I'm not just a stay at home mama. I'm married (laughs) to. Who's bankrolling that? No, I'm just picking. (laughs) Um, So I decided to do 100 strong. First of all, just to challenge myself, Mm -hmm. but also because I'm already 40, I'm turning 41 in February. I thought, you know what? I just really want to try to push myself because I am only like roughly 25 ish pounds away from getting to the goal that I've always had, which is to get to 165. Mm -hmm. I may decide to go lower. I may decide that's good for me, but um, I felt like that would give me kind of like the push to, to really kind of work towards that goal. And then also I was tired of falling on and off the wagon, uh, being like 80 to 95%. I really thought, well, why don't I push myself and see if I can do this? 
And plus, Diana and I have known each other for quite a while. <laughs> we originally coached with uh, Coach Chris Honeycutt. Yeah. And we played Marco Polo THM Accountability Buddies. And mm -hmm. she's done the 100 Strong with you before. Yeah. And so she was motivating me saying, come on, girl, you can do it. So really appreciate it, Diana. Good, good. I love good Coach Chris. Love her. Very mm -hmm. good. Thank you, Erin. Carrie? Um, well, I have been working... <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I have been finding excuses for myself for over 20 years when it mm. comes to my health. And I had read a really good biography over the summer. And one of the quotes in it was, if I quit today, I'm going to quit every day for the rest of my life. And mm. it just really struck a chord in me that I, I have to I have to put myself first. And um, when I heard that you're going to do the challenge, I was like, oh, but that means all the holidays. And, um, but I just decided that I wasn't going to quit because I didn't want to quit for the rest of my life. Like I had for the last 20 years trying to lose weight. So um, it was a big deal for me too, because I love to cook. I'm actually known in my family and with my friends for cooking. And so it was a really big deal for me, especially going through the holidays and hosting the parties and everything to commit to doing that, but I am so, so glad I did. It was mm -hmm. definitely worth it. Yeah. You did so good. You did so good. Yeah. Awesome. Yes. It was so awesome. I'm so proud of all of you. And you know, the reason that I initiated the challenge is because last year, honestly, it was, well, last, last year, 2021, it was a bit of a quick thing where I realized it was getting really close to the last hundred days of the year. And I'm like, why not do one of these? So it was just kind of a throw together situation. But this year I was more planned out and had a little more um, intentionality and purpose with it. And um, a thousand people signed up for the challenge, by the way, a thousand. Um, and along the way, I probably lost. Oh, so there were, they were subscribed to an email. And when I sent out the email, I sent an email out every 10 days just to pump you up, were you still on plan, track that, and the number swindled. Well, people were unsubscribing from the email, so that that kind of messed up numbers, I guess, but sometimes that was not intended. That's kind of a glitch with, um, with email in general. <laughs> it just happens that way, but I do know that some people may have gotten discouraged, and so um, I tried my best to keep encouraging and to say, you know what, if you've messed up, you can still start again, you know, even uh, yesterday and today, I made a post about, you know, if you're floundering, you know, you just need to pick yourself up and your next meal can be on plan. If you choose, if you choose that, you know, you got to eat anyway, make it on plan, you know, that kind of thing. Um, and I know some people might think that that's a little insensitive of me, but it's not because I've been where you guys are. I have been where it's hard and I've been doing it for so long now. I don't even think about it. You know, if I'm sick, I'm going to eat on plan. If I don't feel good, I'm going to eat on plan. And I shared with my group, I have a group for my active and inactive clients, private on Facebook. And I go live when I'm driving home from my exercise. <laughs> and I just shared with them that Thursday when my mom went back for her surgery, I got a little overwhelmed and it was time for my lunch. So I was going to door dash something because I didn't, I wasn't leaving the hospital. No, no. Um, <laughs> and so I really considered when I opened the door dash app, I really considered ordering a bunless burger and having the fries because I, I can't, I could do that if I wanted to. I really, I mean, it's, I would get right back on plan. It, it would not make me fall down a rabbit hole of off plan eating. It would not. A while back, yes, but not now. Um, but I decided that that would not really be true and it wasn't necessary. And um, it kind of, like I, I told Wes about it and I just got teared up because I felt bad that I even considered it. But I was like, this is a great opportunity to let people know that it does happen to, to people like me, you know, that have been on plan for a long time. And people see me as this, I don't even know what, but like, you know, always on plan person, you know, and, um, but it still does happen. And, but I did choose a salad from McAllister's that was absolutely delicious and everything was it fine. Looked good. Got, it, it looked good. It was good. It. Did it you see it? Good. Yeah, it looked good. <laughs> oh, yeah, because I shared it in the thing. Yeah. So um, I was really happy about that. And, and I was on plan and everything was wonderful. But it does happen. So what would you say, Diana, to people that committed to 100 Strong, 
but kind of faltered and fell off the wagon, if you will. Um, can you speak to like when you when they struggle and maybe your experience, like when you struggle, how you get yourself back? And, you know, I, I talk a lot about something that your little doggy won't see in. Um, I know, does. Pearl, Pearl talks about in a lot of podcasts, um, she's talked a lot about not wearing the cardigan of shame and taking that thing off. And that when I heard that, oh my gracious, I don't wear that thing no more. I do not. So can you talk a little bit about that, what your thoughts are? Yeah, I think um, I would tell people, I, I do think the your mindset is key. That is, mm -hmm. is really key. So sure. I, try, I try to, when I struggle, and I do a lot, um, I, I try to research, do something that will help change my mind, that'll help reset my mind, whether that's praying, um, going to the Lord, renewing my mind. We, you know, I've done the freedom from emotional eating Bible study, the satisfied, you know, the, all the Bible studies. So I know where I need to go The I deserve a donut app on my phone. There's different things like that, that, you know, I go to my girls in Marco Polo. I have the two Marco Polo groups. So we go to each other, like, and we text and the text strings quicker. <laughs> so yeah. it's like, ah, I'm struggling. Um, so I, I say, you know, just try to not, try not to give up on yourself. I, mm -hmm. I feel like, um, you know, try to, to put yourself first, put your needs first. I, I do not like, I don't care what anybody says. I'll bring my food. I'll, I'll scrape my stupid toppings off of pizza yes. onto a salad, <laughs> regardless of people who are like, Oh, have a bite. Come on. It's only one, you know, you know, I, I do those things because I don't want to find myself in well, kind of that mental spiral. Mm -hmm. It's more the mental thing for me. I physically, I've never really gotten too crazy, but it's more the mental for me. And I don't want to get into that mental space yeah. now, you know, <laughs> who's to say what's going to happen tomorrow or, you know, mm -hmm. next month, but you know, this hundred strong, I, I like being around women who are experiencing success and mm -hmm. are accountable to each other. And I, I, that, that I feed off that success and, and that those accomplishments and that helps motivate me. Oh, and that's the other thing I do. I'll go out to Instagram and go to my THM stuff and like try to get motivated from that too. Yeah. 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 So, and that goes right on to the theme for Southern and healthy keeping promises to myself. I mean, that's exactly what you said. We yeah. are, we are committing and Carrie talked about this too. We are committing to keeping promises to ourselves. I'm going to be on plan for a hundred days. I'm going to be on plan for a hundred days, you know, and sometimes it catches you off guard because you end up in a situation where you maybe don't have on plan food easily accessible. Maybe you do have to go a little step further to do mm -hmm. such and such, you know, mm -hmm. um, you know, I've talked to people before and go about going out to eat with the family or maybe they're just driving through. And I'm like, is there something next door that you could get on plan? Like, <laughs> Can y'all not go through the other drive through And they just look at me like I'm crazy. And I just told them the key to success, but something they just never re really thought about, I guess you'd say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Erin, yeah. what's your thoughts on people that may have struggled and how maybe you've dealt with that in the past? So, um, you know, I've, I used to fall on and off a lot. And um, I would say that the more you keep picking yourself back up, yeah. the easier it does get. Um, sure. And so I, I used to be in a place where I was off a lot more than I was on, um, but I would keep trying. Um, yeah. But changing that mindset of thinking, well, okay, I just went off this one day so or this one meal. Now the whole day is shot or the whole week is shot. You have to change that thinking mm -hmm. because that thinking will keep you in that place of staying off. Right. Uh, so instead of thinking that way, just think about that whole, you can get back on in three to four hours and then do your best to try to get back on and give yourself a lot of grace at the beginning, because as you're still learning what's an E and an S and a crossover and a fuel pool, um, you're going to make all those mistakes in the beginning. But the more you keep working at it, you'll learn it. And um, and then just, I don't know, for me, just 
just try and keep trying. I mean, yeah. I don't know. I've always been pretty self-motivated. So when I yeah. make up my mind to try yeah. to do something, yeah. I normally try to keep that promise to myself to do it. Yeah. Um, but right before I got back on with you, Amy, um, I had gone through a miscarriage mm -hmm. and um, I had gone through a whole week of just really destructive eating. I was just mm -hmm. in that place of, I do not care about myself. Why, you know, I, I just was really depressed. I and um, honestly, I, at the end of that week, I just had to tell myself, look, you've got to take care of you. You've got other kiddos that need you and you're worth taking care of. Mm -hmm. And your body is the, the temple of the Holy Spirit. And he wants you to take care of, of your house. And so I just made that decision to do it. And sometimes you just have to do it kind of like the Nike logo. Yeah. Yeah. You know, whether you feel like doing it or not, just Amen. do it. That's right. And, and once you start doing the motion, it kind of follows. That through. right there, I've wanted to scream at people before. Just do it. I don't care what you feel like. What do I, what do I tell people? Well, what if I'm not hungry? It's time to eat. Just eat. <laughs> just fuel. <laughs> How many times have I said that? A million. Oh, I man, the, day eight, awesome. the day eight app messed up and I couldn't, I, I, I use it to track my yeah, time. Me I too. And I have yeah. the reminder set. So the day that it messed up on my phone, <laughs> I was really like, I was like, oh no, I'm way past. <laughs> yeah. but, um, Why do I feel weird? Oh, it's time to eat. <laughs> yeah. And I, I will say that too. Like, since I've been on a lot more, like I can now recognize my own body cues that help me know when it's time to eat again. Yes. Um, Isn't that the best? Yes. I didn't have that before with falling off so much. Um, so that, that, that does help too, is once you get on, you start to kind of get in this regular body pattern where you can recognize it without even looking at a clock. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very good. Carrie, you want to share? Yeah. Um, there was a lot of times I wanted to quit. Yeah. I was like, I deserve the sugar cookie that my student brought me or, you know, and, but then I would just remember how good I felt. Mm -hmm. And like, I had a re, um, reduced inflammation and, yes. I, like, and I just all, like serious. Yes. It was incredible what happened to this girl. Like, oh yeah. Yeah. I, I still be, can't I'd be coming it. to your house and knocking that cookie out your hand like that fast. <laughs> no, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. We're staying on plan. We're, right. keeping, this, well, we're keeping this inflammation down. I, I had to, I had to, um, tell myself, no, I deserve to not have inflammation. I don't deserve that cookie as much as I deserve to have what? no inflammation. And what an amazing perspective shift. Wow. Yeah. I had, wow. yeah. Um, I, I definitely had to change my thinking and yeah. just being on plan. Um, the longer I was on plan, I, I felt like it got a little bit easier. My thinking um, got easier and it wasn't as hard towards the end to stay on plan. It wasn't a big deal. And that was, that was the holidays. That was Christmas and New Year's yeah. and all that. That's the end. Yeah. And I had made all a whole bunch of Trim Healthy Mama desserts and candies and, you know, all that. And I honestly, I didn't even feel like I needed all of that. You know, I, I was, um, just, I felt really good at the end awesome. towards the end of it. And I still do. I still feel really good. That's awesome. I love it. I love it. Can you share, um, what you did? Was it the apple apple festival or was that what it was you went to? In the yeah, fall? we went to an apple butter festival. Um, and it's like a tradition for our family to go. Sure. They have all different kinds of baked donuts and pies and all the ciders and they have the food, food trucks out. And so my daughter and I, it's a tradition we go every year. So we went and picked apples, but I, I brought a little purse and I jammed a little, I, it was smushed because my purse was little, um, a piece of apple bam cake. And I, I don't remember if I I think maybe a protein bar or something, a Trim Healthy Mama protein bar. And um, so, cause I wanted to have that experience with my daughter I and mean, I didn't want to not do something that had always been a tradition. Absolutely. Um, and I wanted to enjoy myself when I was there. I wanted to buy her an apple fritter. So, but I, but I wanted to stay in plan. So I, I took out my little smushed up apple bam cake and I, I enjoyed it and I had a great time. When I got that text, y'all don't know. Y'all don't know what y'all mean to me when y'all send me things like that or when I read comments in Buds and Blooms or wherever, wherever all the things go. But when you sent me that message that that's what you had done, 
my family gets announcements. I'm like, y'all are gonna believe what Carrie did. And they're like, Aww. oh, oh, Carrie. Like <laughs> they know y'all. Um, I was saying something about uh, um, oh God, the groundhog in Pennsylvania and camp goes, that's where Carol lives. <laughs> <laughs> like they know they know y'all it's so fun but anyway oh, I was so proud of you when you did that and it, it seems like um you did so and I know a lot more details about your journey because you're one-on-one but y'all she went to a spaghetti dinner and you brought your own yes oh my I did I I brought my was little lunch fundraiser, was it a fundraiser and, type thing anyway brought her on yeah yeah I brought my little lunch pail and I unzipped it and got out my little spaghetti and, yeah I did it. And you know what? People were looking at me, but I just had coach Amy in my head saying, why do you care what people think? <laughs> so. Because right now they hadn't thought one more thing about it. They're not worried about, you no more. It's like, you know, <laughs> right. It's, right. It's that one, it's that one little second when they do look at you funny, but it's over. It's over. Yeah. 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 Oh, gosh, that's so good. So good. Okay. So Diana, what did you learn about yourself um, during the 100 strong challenge? Hmm myself that um I'm I'm worthy mm. um that I I actually had I started to feel better about my perception of myself oh um, wow yeah I that was one of my non-scale victories I think it it had kind of led up and just like this past week um like I didn't look at my body and think, ew, hmm. you know, I looked at my legs and I was like, go girl, yeah, girl. <laughs> <laughs> my legs are strong. Like I look good. I was like, I was, and I never ever felt that way. And I think just having that consistency just made me feel really good about myself. Yeah. Um, and I learned that I don't have to give in to that family you know, pressure. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how many times I had to tell my dad, I don't eat sugar. <laughs> like, he kept I love me. Bliss. I told, <laughs> he's like, Oh, I bought an apple pie. I thought you need it. I'm like, I told you I don't eat sugar. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh, so it just made me um, realize like, I don't, I can, I can do what I need to do without yeah. totally putting other people out too. I could still be yeah. respectful of other people, right. but that I, but I am worth it. And you know, I had, I, I started to have a different perception physically of, of how I feel about That's myself. Awesome. That's awesome, man. That's so good. Erin. <laughs> so for me, um, I learned that I didn't have to turn to food emotionally because I went through some stressful times during the holidays, but y'all like, were sick. Y'all had a lot of sickness and things. That was another thing I learned was I could do THM while sick. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You sure can. You oh sure my can. goodness. We had stomach bug that went through our house in November. And then we had, um, and I, I was feeling well enough to do the Thanksgiving cooking. And then uh, right before Christmas, we all had flu for like a month. Um, and so, yeah, I learned that I could turn to God and pray instead of, you know, feel, feeling that, filling that void with food. And then I learned I could do THM while sick. I also learned that um, that I could handle being around other people and still choosing my on-plan stuff because uh -huh. I have not been in the space that you, Carrie, and Diana have been in where it doesn't matter what other people are saying. That used to always really bother me, but I think uh -huh. since we're strong, that hasn't bothered me anymore. Um, and I was kind of always in this perception that my family would think I was weird if I was telling them, you know, how I was trying to eat or whatever. And they were super gracious and super like, okay, you know, <laughs> and, and like you said, uh, you know, other people don't really care so much about what you're eating. You know, if I was sitting there eating mi the frozen mixed berries and they were all having little brownie cake batter, little cup things from Sam's and you know, nobody even paid attention to my plate. And it was just my own perception that everyone's going to say something about it, but nobody did. So <laughs> that was, and, and, you know, sometimes that does happen. And, and there are some people that their mother-in-law, God love her. She has her love language is feeding them. And it is a really tricky situation. So that really does play out in, in each of our lives differently. But yeah. I have just found across the board with clients and as many people as I've helped throughout the years, especially with the holiday groups that I've done, 
most of the time people understand and are gracious, just like you said. Um, you know, so anyway, that's, that's great. Thank you. And I'm so proud of you. Definitely staying on plan while you're sick is huge because a lot of times that's when it just goes right on out the window, but that's the most important time in my opinion, to stay on plan is when you feel it when you're sick, because that's the whole point of trim healthy mama, um, is that you're going to be healthy and what better way to help yourself when you're sick, but to eat on plan. Yeah. And I feel like staying on plan while sick, I don't feel like I got it as bad as everybody else right. did right. <laughs> until I got so exhausted from taking care of everybody. Right. Else. <laughs> I was drinking Baobab and I was eating the Progresso light soup with gelatin mm -hmm. in it and trying to throw in some veggies here and there. And it helped. A Good. Lot. That's awesome. Carrie. I learned that like what was already said, I am worth it to stay on plan. I don't deserve <laughs> to eat off plan. I deserve to be healthy and, um, and that I am strong. I can do it. I can do it when I'm being out with my friends or I'm hosting people over my house or I go to a conference for a weekend. I can do term healthy mama anywhere I go. And um, I can do it. Can. That's what I learned. Yeah, thank you. That's so good. So good. You can do it. You can. So girls, um, I just wanted to see, you know, if any of you were willing to talk about, you know, what your plans are going forward. You know, a lot of people, Erin, I think you and I talked about this in Blooms, if I'm not mistaken, you know, what do you do now? So last year, little quick story, um, I say last year, yeah, it was, I guess it was last year, <laughs> um, after the first 100 challenge. Um, it was, you know, what do I do now? So I, I issued another one. I issued another hundred strong type thing. Um, I'm not doing that this year. <laughs> I have, I have other things <laughs> I'm planning, but, um, you know, I was wanting to be a hundred, another hundred percent and all the other things that I had decided that year. And it worked up until about mid February, Wes and I went on a trip and, our plans fell through. I was way past time to eat and we ended up having pizza and I could, I have to hold my girls. I could have eaten the tops off, but it was like so hungry situation, but we ended up having such a memorable experience. It did not derail me. I knew that it would not eat the whole piece of pizza, you know, that kind of thing. I did pair it with my, my, my freshies. <laughs> I know y'all are shocked. Um, but you know what? It was okay. And it was a very special experience. And I told him, we are going to go away again. We, we try to take a trip around Valentine's Day. We're doing it <laughs> about a week and a half early this year because of different things. But he said, are we going to get pizza again? <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah, we got to make it a tradition. So anyway, it's just a special thing. And I'm not sad about it, you know, but I got right back on plan next fueling and all was well. So that is my experience with wanting to do another hundred days. Um, so Diana, what's yours? So I'd like to, I, to me, it's just, it's gotten to a point where it's, it, there's, there's no other option for me, mm -hmm. but, but I will say I, I'm not going to, if I feel like something is worth it, I, I feel like I have a better grasp on what's worth it and what's not worth it yeah. after this past 100 days. Like I can honestly say there was really nothing in the past hundred that was worth it. Mm -hmm. Um, so I think I, I would like to go, you know, just to be a little bit more realistic, maybe 30 at a time, something sure. like that, but I'm not going to say I won't have something off plan that comes up. I'm just not going to beat myself up over it. I'm going to make the choice <laughs> if it comes up. And so essentially, I guess what I'm saying is I'm going to try and take it one day at a time. You know, I have, I, you know, plan out my day and, and, um, I don't, I don't see any reason why I would go off in the near future, but if it happens, I, I'm going to be intentional about it. Yeah. Like, like your date, for example, you know, if, if there's really something you know, that you just can't live without. <laughs> yeah, Try. Yeah. yeah, man, dough at that restaurant, I fully intended on being on plan. Sure did. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and then it was like, I need food now. <laughs> right. Right. You know, I think I even had a piece of the truck on the way back to the, to the Airbnb, but <laughs> I was so hungry. I was like, I'm yeah. not feeling right. That's not good. 
Oh man. Oh man. Very yeah, good. Well, I, I, was, I was almost, I was almost tempted when we went out for sushi over Christmas to, but thank the Lord they had brown rice. And really? Said, yes. So, I mean, I was just like, oh, see, it was meant to be. <laughs> <laughs> it was. That's exciting. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Erin? So I did talk with you already. I think it was during the Trimtastic holiday um, video, but yeah, I'm trying to do another hundred days and I'm going to take it 30 days at a time. And then um, Dina Farrell and I are exercise accountability buddies and Diana, we're going to try to, uh, I don't know if you're going to do it with me, Diana, but um, Dina and I are going to do the 40 day sugar fast uh, with Wendy speak. Mm -hmm. And um, we're already off normal sugar, but she wants to do with me where we get off the THM sweets just for that. That's a 40 day thing. And at first I was really bucking it. I was like, oh, I need my THM sweets. But then I was like, no, I just did a hundred days on plan. I can do 40 days of no THM sweets. So I'm stocking up on berries. So I Uh have (laughs) mango. (laughs) Yeah, all those lovely God-given sweets, the that's fruit. Right. <laughs> so um, that's what I'm trying to do. And then um, trying to just keep the exercise going because I want to keep doing that. Um, but that's kind of where I'm at. I just want to keep working towards getting towards my goal weight. Um, but it's not so much about the weight anymore. It's really just about feeling good and feeling healthy because that's yeah. where I'm at. And I I don't even think about it so much when I even get on the scale to do our weigh-ins monthly. I don't even really think about it too much about the number anymore. It really doesn't bother me anymore or concern me so much, I guess. Um, Did you say in control? Because I I heard that and then I had a thought. Did you say that or did I just think it from what you said? You Um, say something about being in control of something. Did she say that? (laughs) Did I? (laughs) I don't know. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Whatever you said made me think about being in control of your decision. So um, I felt like pre THM, I was very out of control in a lot of ways. And especially with food, apparently I was not healthy at all. And now I feel like that's my non-scale victory. And that's what I learned from 100 strong is that I am very much in control of the decisions that I make. Now things happen, things go wrong but I'm in control, you know, I'm the only one that puts things, puts food in my mouth, (laughs) you know, um, you know, I'm in control of that. I'm in control of getting up and going to exercise and, you know, things like that, but that was good. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to re-listen to the the podcast to hear what you said, (laughs) but whatever it was, because I was, I was really intense listening, but, um, that that really came to mind. Yeah, I agree with you. I feel like I'm I'm a lot more cognizant of what mm-hmm. I'm doing. paying well, attention I wasn't to what you're so doing. much before the hundred days. I feel like I'm way more aware, like of just more in tune with how I'm feeling, with what I'm mm-hmm. deciding to do, and and yeah, even being at a restaurant, you could, I, I mean, just looking at the menu. I used to just look at the menu and just order whatever I saw, and now I'm not. I'm like reading it. I'm telling them, hold on, I gotta figure out what I'm getting. Yeah. And figuring out my food before I start ordering the kids food is helpful because when you're in the mindset of ordering the kids stuff, you just totally just keep rolling and you just order your default instead of ordering what you need to eat to be on plan plan choice. That's right. Good. That's good. Awesome. I love it. I love it. Carrie. Um, I, I intend to keep being a hundred percent strong on plan. Um, But like Diana said, I'm not going to be angry at myself. I'm going to give myself grace if I make mistakes Mm -hmm. because I am human. But I do plan to, like with Coach Amy, we make um, plans when we have our one-on-one calls, not plans, goals. Um, You help me set up some good goals. (laughs) (laughs) So um, I plan to be 100% with those goals because a lot of times I fall off the wagon with them or I don't even remember the goals that we set. And that, that's something that I'm going forward. I'm going to try to keep all my promises to myself, not just, oh yeah, I'm going to be hundred percent on plan. Um, I'm going to promise myself, I'm going to get my body moving. I'm going to, um, get those sippers in every day that I need to get that, that are good for me. And, um, and I'm going to keep those promises to myself. Yeah. That's so good. That's so good. I love that. He used my little theme. 
<laughs> a good little coach Amy girl. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I say coach Amy this, coach Amy that. <laughs> Your family's like, 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 quit talking about her. What did Amy <laughs> say about that? What would she say about that? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all are so funny. I had, I had a one-on-one. She texts me. Um, so if someone were to X, Y, Z, she, and then it took me a while to answer her. I don't even know what I was doing anyway. And I, I came back because I'd seen it. And then I was like, I'll answer her in a minute. But when I came back, she went, never mind. I know what you're going to say. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, this is what I would say. She goes, yep, that's I knew. I knew. That's what, yeah. <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> right. Oh my gosh. Y'all crap me up. Oh my goodness. So um, is there anything else? We can definitely close out. This has been amazing. Thank y'all so much. But I want to give you time. If there's anything else that you wanted to share, you're more than welcome to. anything else girls if you're thinking about doing 100 strong the next time it's announced do it just do it you can do it yeah just do it and it doesn't have to be I remember my first 100 strong I think I was maybe 93 or 95 percent like it wasn't perfect you know and but that's okay it was better than what I would have been it was better than what it would have been amen you just, it doesn't have to be a hundred percent, just as long as it's better than what it was before. That's progress. Right. And that's, yes. It's all about oh. progress. And that's what we're talking about in Blooms this whole month is I wanted them to focus on progress over perfection because my stars, whenever, um, actually right before I announced hundred strong, this whole perfectionist thing, just like bombarded Southern and healthy, like it was all over the place. And it seems like Pearl came out with a podcast not too long after that about perfection. Anyway, uh, I'm sure it was wonderful. I'm really behind on their podcast list, but <laughs> they've been um, good recently. <laughs> I'm sure I am certain that they have been amazing. It's just, I don't have extra minutes right now, but um, that is just something that's really been um, touching my heart because there's a lot of people out there with perfectionistic um, mentality. And I love that all of you touched on that mindset shift happening. Your perspective and your mindset really has to be in tune with your goals, but progress over perfection needs to be also an underlying theme because things happen. We might have to rush off to the hospital for an urgent need and things just, you have, you need something to eat. You have to make your best choice, you know, different things like that. Um, <clears throat> my timing this week has gone over four hours several times. Have I beaten myself up about it? Nope. It just happened. I know better. It happened. I, I, there's, there's nothing that I can do about what happened yesterday, but I can learn from it and I can pay it better attention to my eight app, which I did today. I, can, I checked it a million times. I think. <laughs> um, and so anyway, I just really, I just want to leave everybody with that thought. Remember that it's always, it's progress over perfection. And if you did 80 out of hundred days for 100 strong, awesome. If you did 10 out of hundred, I think that's awesome too, because you tried. Would I wish that you would have gotten back on after day 13 or 14 or whatever and tried a little bit more? Absolutely, but it's okay. There's nothing you can do about it. But next time, just like Carrie said, see if you can do a little bit better. Yeah. All right. Y'all want to tell them bye? Bye. 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 <laughs> Thank you, Coach Amy. Oh, you are so welcome. Bye, everybody. Bye.